I don't play fighting games anymore. <sighs> Let's get into this, shall we? Um, first of all, let me give you a brief history of my fighting game, my love of fighting games, okay? My boy, years ago, when we... Uh, when round when Street Fighter 2 was about to come out for the consoles was the one that put me on the Street Fighter 2. Um, it was because of him I found out about it and I started doing research on it and looking it up and checking it out in the arcades and playing and I started to really like this game. It was going to come out for the home consoles. It's going to come out for Super Nintendo. So I made sure I reserved my copy. I got it and I played and played and played and I was horrible at first. Uh, but I got better and better and better to the point where it was like, yo, I was the man to beat. To be the man, you gotta beat the man, yeah. Woo! I mean, I spent countless hours playing this game. If I wasn't doing homework or at school or watching cartoons or any of my favorite shows, this is what I was playing. Okay, and I had the strategy guides. It, I mean, Street Fighter 2 was a phenomenon. Okay, I had the strategy guides, man. I had like um, obscure, like fan shit, like that you only got when you pre ordered stuff, like VHS cassette tapes of gameplay and tips and exclusive J Japanese commercials from Japan like I just like had all this stuff for Street Fire when the movie came out I went to see it and that was horrible but I still liked it because I was a Street Fighter fan and I was there for the uh onslaught of Street Fighter 2 clones some called on some didn't one of them was called Mortal Kombat and it caught on and it caught on with a vengeance because Street Fighter was cartoony but this was real and it had blood. Oh my god! So it was definitely cool. It had its novelty back then. Now it's turned into fucking torture. Grotesque. Destruction. Murderous porn. But back then it was kind of like, oh, I ripped his head off. Okay, it, was funny. it wasn't as graphic as it was now. If you were to go back and check in. That was a game that I wanted to master also. It was good in Mortal Kombat. But I wasn't that good. Not as good as I was in Street Fighter. Street Fighter, I was a god in. But with, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, I was I. Right. I was I was I was a strong human. Made me a demigod in it. You know, I was I was very good in it. But no, like nowhere near the level of players you see now. Like nothing like that with Mortal Kombat. But I followed Mortal Kombat until. Like Ultimate Mortal Kombat it was like a, I think a more expanded version of Mortal Kombat 3, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. But I followed Mortal Kombat up until Mortal Kombat 3 and I followed Street Fighter up until Street Fighter 3. But I, I was only playing it, um, I guess you could say that I had a very, very big competitive nature back then. When it came to Street Fighter. Like I wanted to be the best that I could be in that game. And be the best. Like that's how I played it. And I played that up until Street Fighter Alpha 2. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, I almost had no competition. Like, nobody I knew was playing. And I just I never played anybody. I just played myself. I'm destroying the, the Street Fighter Alpha 3 game by myself. It just it got boring. And then by the time, let me see, I know Street Fighter 3 came out, but I didn't really like Street Fighter 3 like that. I liked it, but I didn't like it like that, you know what I mean? And after that, you know, that was it, you know, until Street Fighter 4 came out. And by then, I would kind of lost my uh, love of playing games in the first place. So, you want to know the reason why I don't play them anymore. The reason why is because after I started playing again, I'm not extremely competitive anymore, okay? That's one reason. Um, and I like more immersive 
games. And you can say, oh, well, fighting games are deep and immersive. Yeah, they are. They are. Because there's a lot of things that get deep when it comes to the gameplay and, and combos and strategy and all that. I get that. But I'm more uh, into expansive, massive worlds, action RPG. You know, I'm into stuff like that now. Once I started gaming again, once you guys got me gaming again. Um, the first game that I started playing, uh, was Arkham Knight. I like games like that. I don't know if I would call that an RPG, but it's, it's an action game. You know what I mean? I like action games and I like action RPGs. I like stuff like Bloodborne. Okay. I like stuff like Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was the turning point for me. Because after I played Arkham night um i played a few other games i played stuff like you know the last of us and so i can't remember the order of everything but i just remember being hooked on fallout 4 i couldn't stop playing it and hooked on but i think i may have played bloodborne first i can't remember but those two games man those two specifically are instrumental in the reason why I love those type of games now. And fighting games are too, I don't know if you want to call it one dimensional for me. It's, it's too straightforward for me. And it's too simple in a way. It's just, to, to me, it's not, it's like, okay, I've seen this stage before. I've seen this stage. Oh, yeah, this, this, this stage, this, this stage. This is this now. Is that oh I fought this guy before? I fought the and I know it could be a different fight because if I'm playing online, it's a different guy and yeah, and he's got a different strategy and he did the combo this way. He started this combo with a jab. Said oh no, he used his V trigger and then he went into I I get all that, but it's it doesn't interest me anymore. I'm not interested in fighting one one after one one after another after another after another. Until I get to M. Bison or whoever it is I'm supposed to be. I don't. It, it doesn't. You don't understand. Man, my, my um, obsession with fighting games was bad. I mean, it was bad back in the day. I mean, that's all I played. All day. Street Fighter 2 or Mortal Kombat. That's it. That's all I played. <laughs> okay? That's all. You know, in certain other games that called on for me, Killer Instinct, Samurai Showdown. But that was about it, man. And every once in a while, you know, there was a Mario game where there was, uh, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't even remember some of the other games that I played because I was always playing fighting games. But it's just run its course with me. And the last fighting game that I tried to um, get into was uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Or Fighter Z, or whatever you want to call it, and because I'm such a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, and I knew that my love for fighting games had been waning, and you know after playing it, I just I felt bored. I felt bored after learning a few of the moves and doing some combos. I just felt extremely bored. I don't know exactly why. You know, after having an obsession with it, I don't anymore. Guys, think about it like this. You ever been in the girls with big big booties and all of a sudden you're in the girls with big titties? It just has, it's just like that. You're like, I don't know why. I don't want chicks with big asses no more, man. I just want a chick with big titties, man. I'm like, nah, man, I'm in the Jones with short hair now, man. Short, sexy little cuts. I don't want a girl with long hair. I don't know why. I don't want the long hair no more. But for some reason, the girls with the sexy short cuts I like, man, girls with glasses is all that do it for me now. I don't know why, but if you got glasses, that's what I want. Man, girls with tattoos, man, that's what I want. Man, if you ain't got no tattoos, I don't want to deal with you. And I don't know why, it's just, I used to be in the chicks with no tattoos. I ain't want no chicks with tattoos. But now all of a sudden, I want chicks with tattoos. It's something about. I don't know if I saw a chick in a magazine. I don't know what it is. But yo, they sexy as fuck to me. That's all I'm into. 
I dated like three chicks within the last two years with tattoos. And I, I, I just want more girls with tattoos. I don't know what it is. But all I want is like action and action RPG. That's all I want. All I want is games like Spider-Man PS4, Arkham Knight, Bloodborne, Fallout 4. You see what I'm saying? All I want is games that are like that, that are in that genre. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I want. That's all I want, man. So, post comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. You know, um, I don't know what to say. Maybe one day I'll be back. I, I like shooters, too. Yeah, shooters now. Yeah, shooters. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very much into shooters now. But, yeah, I just, I don't, what you see me playing is what I'm into. What you see me playing is what I'm into, you know. And I'm, like I said, I'm more of a casual, have fun with the game type of player now. I'm not really competitive. I don't care about being the best anymore. I just care about having fun and entertaining people because I entertain people with my gameplay. You know what I mean? I I just I just want to have fun. I don't want to get too pissed off when playing a game. You know what I mean? Um, I'm I'm about relaxing. You know, right now I really am. <laughs> so you won't see Tyrone Magnus in any tournaments. I mean, um, I mean it could change. That could change, and I could be, decide to become very competitive. But I'm not at the moment. I'm about having fun, getting good. You know what I mean? But I don't have to be the best. Like, I don't have to be ninja at Fortnite. You know what I mean? Could it get to that point where I'm like, you know, yeah, I'm trying to get to that. Yeah, it could definitely happen. It could happen. It could happen within the next few weeks, few months, where I could be like, yo, I'm going to get as good as this motherfucker. But right now, I don't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? I could feel that way about Blackout, man. I want to get good as hell. I want to compete. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to learn every inch of this game. You know what I mean? Um, although I am... Starting to really get back into Black Black Ops 4 and the Blackout. I really am starting to get back in there. That one I could really, I might really start to have an obsession for. But we'll see. But no fighting games are doing it for me. None of them. You know, the Tomb Raider games, the Uncharted games. You know what I mean? Uh, the Telltale type games. Um, I recently started playing Mega Man again and started realizing just how hard those games were back in the 80s and 90s. I mean, we were gaming gods back then compared compared to if you could beat games back then. Yeah, I mean, gamers back then were better than gamers now because games are easier. They really are easier. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a guy that can go back to those old games and, and beat them with ease, tip of the hat to you, sir. Cause I, I man, I, I've, I've been retired since then. I lost my skills back then. I can't believe how hard this damn Mega Man game is to me right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna have to get my skills back. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm playing shit like Spyro, collecting gems. I'm having a good, I'm having a fun time collect, collecting them gems. You know what I mean? I'm having fun doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm relaxing. I don't like to get stressed out these days. You know, so that's what it is, my friends. I'll see y'all soon. And um, look for me at 4 o'clock on Twitch today. But I may be there at 5 instead of 4 because I may have to take care of some things, all right? 10 million subscribers! Woo! You may now subscribe.